गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू बच्चो आई एम बैक विद वन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू रिगार्डिंग द वैकेंसीज दैट आर रिलीज बाई एन एल सी इंडिया लिमिटेड सो इट इज अ नवरत्ना कंपनी अ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंटरप्राइज ओके सो इट इज अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कोल एंड इट इज इन्वाइटिंग एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम ग्रेजुएट कैंडिडेट्स इन ग्रेजुएशन for the below mentioned courses 2020 21 and 2022 that is the people who have uh, completed their graduation in 2020 2021 and 2022 for one year apprenticeship training okay one year training now let's see so how many training slots are there in mechanical it is 73 in electrical highest 81 civil 25 instrumentation 12 chemical 9 mining 42 cs 52 ec 10 pharmacy 14 so total slots are 318 now what is the monthly stipend it is 15028 rupees and it is for one year now some of you might feel ki sir it is not exactly a job it is training why should we go for it see many people completely take a break completely take a drop and then they prepare for various competitive exams like ae exams je exam gate exam but why to do that when you can be in a one year training getting a stipend getting an experience on your resume and alongside preparing for competitive exam so what i would recommend beta if you can join this training for one year and alongside you can prepare for exam then you do not have to show gap even if you go into a psu even if you go into any other government job or even a private job the biggest the biggest drawback we face when we face an interview is how to explain the gap that we have taken for the exam we might have taken a gap of 2 years 3 years but we have nothing to show for it and companies do not like hearing the answer that sir for the past 4 years i was preparing for competitive exam so these kind of opportunities are a blessing in disguise because you are getting experience you are getting paid you are becoming independent the biggest thing is that you are becoming independent of your parents you do not have to ask them for money you can manage your own expenses alongside you can prepare for your competitive exams now let's see so you need a degree in engineering and technology full time by a statutory university in relevant discipline or granted by an institution empowered to grant such degree by act of parliament in relevant discipline that is your college must be qualified to grant you a degree and you need a full time degree that is your graduation must have been completed you should not be in the final year okay now age limit will be as per apprenticeship uh, rules so as they told that you must be graduated in 2020 21 or 2022 and there is also reservation for sc st obc pwd ews and if you are claiming you must provide the certificate of government stating that you fall under that particular category okay other than this you have to arrive at the percentage of marks obtained in the qualified examination so you need to get your percentage that is the cumulative percentage of the four years if your college if your college gives you a pointer then they must also give you a certificate stating how can you convert that pointer to a percentage so that you can fill in your percentage if you overstate your marks that is you tell more marks than you have actually got then you will be disqualified at the time of document verification if two candidates have the same marks then the one getting uh, or having a senior age that is having higher age will be considered if two candidates have the same marks okay and remember completion of training does not entitle you to a job yes some of these guys will definitely get placed but they will not guarantee that 100% of these trainees will get placed so you have an opportunity to get placed but they will not guarantee it other than that so method of selection will be based on the percentage of marks so whatever is your college percentage that will guarantee your selection okay in the bachelor degree in the final qualifying examination based on the practice followed by the university so that is whatever marks your university has given to you that marks will be considered for your qualification and if you get gpa instead of marks then percentage will be based on procedure followed by your university okay 
so basically your university has to tell how to convert that pointer into percentage and based on that only you will be considered now for applying what you have to do you have to visit this website www.nlcindia.in go to career link and then go to trainees and apprentice then click on appropriate online application link under advertisement LNDC 05 2022 okay the link is available now it has started from 23rd of Jan and it will close on 31st of Jan okay so you have to apply before 31st of Jan once you complete the application form take out a printout of the registration form and you need to submit the duly signed by post to this particular person general manager LNDC and NLC India limited Naivelli 6078083 so after taking a printout you need to send a post of the signed application form okay don't forget to sign on the application form so this is the process if you also believe that you must have a, a job or you must have something alongside to manage your expenses while you prepare this can be a great opportunity for all of you okay so if you are looking for a full-time job and you are willing to take a drop then fine but if you want something you are fed up of taking a drop then definitely go for it okay so you need to keep a track of your selection process by regularly visiting the website the list of candidates called for certificate verification will be displayed on 16th of Feb and verification uh, document verification will be from 22nd Feb to 28th of Feb and the final result will be displayed on 2nd March. So this is the tentative timeline 31st Jan closure of application <coughs> list of candidate for document verification 16th of Feb then document verification by 28th of Feb and final list by 2nd March okay so that's it from my side and but the uh, ones who are preparing for gate 24 and 25 today is the last day of the offer you can save up to 30% by joining using the code Ankit ESE after which the prices will also be increased and this extra discount will also go off so don't miss this opportunity join immediately using the code Ankit ESE and this is the latest batch that we have started in digital electronics by Sujay sir. So this batch is starting today itself. You can join this batch. Dande sir will be taking your orientation. And last thing, the last All India mock test is this Sunday 29th. So do appear for it to check your preparation. And not only you will be checking your preparation on an All India level, you also get a scholarship on an academy subscription. So see you all very, very soon. Till then, keep rocking. Let's crack it.